welcome to the second installment of the Backstory series where I tell the backstory of the song that I recorded and the reason why. I guess that's the easiest and quickest way to explain it. Okay, so a little history about the song. It was done on a film, most famously, called Rio Bravo. It was starring uh, Dean Martin and Ricky Nelson sang the song in a uh, sheriff's station. And it rounded it out. They first did a song called My Rifle, My Pony, and Me, and then they did Cindy Cindy. I wanted to do, I really liked My Rifle, My Pony, and Me. And... Uh, I thought it would just round it out real nice if I did, uh, did Cindy on the B-side. So that's what it is, and that's why the 7-inch the or EP will be called Rio Bravo. There are many, 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 many different versions of this song. Some people call it Cindy, and others, the more formal, call it Cindy Cindy, such as I. And the song is famously done by numerous different people. Uh, at one point, Johnny Cash and Nick Cave did a version of it. I'm sure other people have done it. I have not researched it very well. You can feel free to research it all you want. But uh, yeah, so this was, uh, the song was recorded a long time ago. It was actually the fourth song I recorded with Tim. It was the beginning of kind of a different, a different time where it wasn't, my songs weren't really guitar driven as acoustic guitar. And it was more of a, orchestrated type of uh, thingamaling going on there. And this was probably one of the first songs to do that. Um, it's definitely been going more kind of in a classical vein. Uh, some of the new songs don't really even have a guitar, but this, this kind of marked the beginning of that. Um, I actually didn't really like the way it turned out when, it, when I recorded it. I actually listened to it recently and really liked it, and I really liked the way the mastering's done on it. And I really liked the way it came out. And I actually really enjoyed playing it too. It's super easy and it's just like a nice fun song. Um, so my lyrics are a little bit different than, than the ones we recorded. The way I did it in Big Sur is the way I brought it into Tim and then we, we changed around and like picked and choose some of the lyrics because that's what we have to do with a song. Some of the songs are like really long or they're really lyric-y. So, uh, like bridge or interlude in a lot of them or, or an area where there would be a solo or this or that or a featured instrument it's like really lyric and they just keep kind of going and going so a lot of them have been cut down and this would definitely be a prime example of that i think that about rounds it out i'm just uh i think the artwork came out really great um i'll definitely be talking more about my rifle my pony and me i'm hoping to have this album version of this released somewhere in January. Um, it's going to be out on Spotify and then I'm going to do digital download, but eventually I would like to uh, put out another 7-inch. My uh, Kitty 7-inch is still available at this time if you'd like to buy one. They're limited. Well, here it is, uh, live from Big Sur. And uh, yeah, check it out. Hope you enjoy it. All right. Goodbye. I love you all. Talk to you soon. Thank you. I wish I was an apple hanging in a tree. And every time my sweetheart dies, I think about it. Told me that she loved me. Told me sugar plums. I wish I had a needle, as fun as I could see.
I can't have my city girl, I'll have you. 